Joining us now is Tao Jung, founder and managing director of Dow Ventures. It's a cross-border investment advisory and accelerator group. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me again. So, you know, as we saw in the story, a large part of it dealt with the feeling of safety right. and, and no crime in China. You've lived in both China and the United States. How would you compare uh, the different concerns when it comes to safety in each area? Uh, I think for a lot of uh, Chinese students who live in the U.S., um, particularly given the recent um, kidnapping of and, and possible murder of a Chinese uh, woman scholar, right, uh, at the University of Illinois. Uh, so uh, that, that caused a lot of uh, discussion uh, online in China. And uh, a lot of people feel, uh, comparatively speaking, uh, safer in China. Uh, if we use myself as an example, if I walk in, uh, like late in, into the night, in any part of Beijing, I, I feel quite safe, but probably not in some parts of D.C. Right. You compare the two in Beijing. People are out all night long into the early morning hours. Right, so, exactly. Uh, different concerns. What do you think sets them apart? Do you think it's just the way that crimes are policed? Because in the West, uh, Europe, the United States, you tend to worry about random acts of violence. You really have to watch for yourself. Uh, yeah, I think, I think uh, the primary concern as far as the U.S. Con uh, is concerned is that people have guns. So, uh, and uh, you never know where the threat could come from. Um, but in China, um, the, the primary reason why people are not that afraid, say, walking, uh, you know, in, in, in the street at night is probably because, uh, you know, you have a very strong government uh, and, uh, you know, the, the closed circuit TV is everywhere. And uh, so uh, people are being monitored, so to speak. And, and, and that, that provides a safe environment for a lot of people. Uh, so uh, I, I think that's, um, as far as I can tell, that that's the primary reason, uh, you know, why people don't feel, uh, uh, you know, unsafe, you know, in China, especially compared with the U.S. What uh, about quality of life and the differing views between the East and the West when it comes to work-life balance and success? What are the differences there? Uh, I think there's still a big difference between the U.S. and China in terms of uh, work-life balance. Uh, I think China is still um, still emerging market, so uh, people work very hard, and the economy is still very dynamic. So you know, people keep their cell phone on on WeChat <laughs> all the time, and uh, there's uh, uh, not that much uh, a work-life balance, so to speak, uh, compared with the U.S. But, but things are changing. Uh, I think a lot of people, uh, especially people with cross-border experience like myself, are starting to realize the importance of having work-life work -life balance. Uh, so I, I think things are changing for the better in China. So we'll see. But it's still going to take some time. What advice would you give people who want to move to China about some of the life changes they may experience? And then vice versa, when you, uh, if you talk to a Chinese person moving to the West, whether it be Europe or the United States or anywhere, what advice would you give them? Uh, for someone coming from China, especially someone coming from China, you know, coming to the U.S. from China for the first time, um, you know, be prepared to uh, embrace like a boring life, so to speak, uh, or boring lifestyle, because, because, you know, there isn't much to do, uh, especially for a Chinese person, uh, much to do, like, say, uh, after work. And, but in China, I think uh, the, the choice is um, a much more and diverse, uh, say, after work. And, and, and people mix up work and life uh, together quite easily anyway. So, but, but for uh, a Chinese person like who has, say, worked in the U.S. for a long time, who studied in the U.S. for a long time, and also when they go back to China, my advice to them, also be pre prepared for some kind of uh, um, reverse cultural shock, so to speak. It'll be adventure or adventure regardless of who is coming or going, right? Right, right. Be because there's, there's kind of a, a popular Chinese saying, especially among like Chinese students uh, or Chinese workers living in the, U in the U.S. Uh, in the U.S., basically, it's uh, good air, fresh air, good water, uh, but, but a, such a boring life. <laughs> but in China, this is, you know, it's, it's, it's dirty, it's messy, but, but uh, you have such a happy life. All right. Thank so, you so much. Great advice. Tao Zheng, we appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me.